Hi crafty friends, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel. So while I have been jumping into all things Christmas, I did pull back to do a fall project. Um, I wanted to share that for my project, I used a digital scrapbook kit. Um, there's lots of different scrapbook sites um, that you can visit. Ginger Scraps is one of them. Um, Digital Scrapbook Studio is another. The Lily Pad is definitely one of my faves. Um, and I actually design scrapbook kits too. Not very often because I'm so busy doing paper projects. But this one um, really spoke to me. The designer is um, Danny and she goes by JB Designs by Danny Just Because Studio. Um, so I wanted to, I printed this off and I wanted to share with you what the kit looks like. So this is all of the elements that come in it and then these are the papers. So I printed some of the papers that I knew I wanted to use in the sizes I wanted to use it. And then I selected some some of the word strips, some of the elements, and printed those out, and then I fussy cut them. Now, you can use a Cricut for this, and I have done that. However, her elements, they were pretty easy just to fussy cut, so I really didn't um, bother with the, pulling the Cricut out for it. Now, I also supplemented with some die cut items. So, for instance, I used this pa paper, to create a cap for a mushroom that I die cut. Um, you see this little number two? I use that here as a piece of ephemera. That's one of the nice things about digital kits is you can print what you need and then you don't have, you know, a quarter of a collection left and not enough to do with it. Or you don't run out either. Um, you can print more at any time. You can also adjust the scale. So on some of them, maybe I scaled, I needed to scale back the paper. On others, I scaled it up. For instance, for this um, box here, I think this is actually scaled down a good bit, um, but it fit my project better. You can do the same thing with the ephemera. Here it has the illusion of being significantly larger, but I scaled it down. Same as, you know, the, the word strips. Let's see, like here's sweater weather. I can make that fit this, um, this uh, what do you call it? Measuring tape was also part of it, and I sized it so that it would fit here. The small joys. Um, yeah, so that's just, you know, there's pros and cons. The flip side, you need a printer, you need the paper, you need the ink, and you you need to prepare your materials before you can paint, um, start crafting. Looks like I've got a visitor up here. <laughs> so let me share with you what I made. And basically, just I worked on this. Um, one weekend a couple weeks ago and yeah had a lot of fun with it my thoughts were i have all these fall candies like werther's and um i have the hard and the soft ones i'll admit i probably ate more than half of the candy already um i think there was also reese's peanut butter cups which there definitely are not any of those left um but <laughs> sorry we have a cat here let me see, like, there we go, we're gonna scoot them off. All right, so let's get into it. So I love making these little boxes and I simply, again, use the paper from the collection um, for both the box base as well as um, the layering pieces. I use the word art. This was one of my own flowers that I had in my stash and yeah, I've got this little box now with some candies in it. Would be perfect, sit on a coworker's desk, share with a neighbor, send to my sister, um, you know, whatever. So I made two of these. This one I did in a craft um, solid and then used just some little pieces of like fiber thread 
um, some of my handmade flowers again. This was ephemera from the kit, and then I used this little mushroom dye and just some seam binding to close it up. Another little box, I love my boxes. Um, so again, I used some thread. This is actually recycled sari thread that I had bought off of Amazon years ago. Um, some of my own flowers that I just die cut, and then this was from, this was ephemera from the kit, and some of this chiffon ribbon. And yeah, this could hold, you know, a small candy bar. I just put the um, treats in it. I also made a couple bookmarks. Um, this would be perfect to tuck in a book that you're gifting somebody. Um, I, you know, tore some papers, pieced it together. This is from her kit. All of, all of these items are from her kit. And just stitched it together. Same here. Um, great little gift, or you could tuck it on the front of a card, put it in a card. A couple little note cards, again, all from the kit, and then just layered it and popped it up. I love the mixed media, mixed media vibe. That's really common with her kits, um, and I definitely like that. And then this one, I just had some little dried flowers. I love this vintage-looking pumpkin. Just layered it on some gold tucked in these little three dried flowers and that card is ready to gift. And then I'm really into bags and totes and whatnot. This flower was just from my stash. This is um, an acetate butterfly that I included and then the paper is, is from her collection. And then I made this little bag topper. I made the leaves the leaves are die cut out of her paper, again from my stash. Stitched it all up and just threw some treats in here. So most of this could tuck in here if I wanted to say, you know, send a gift to my sister or something. Um, I've got a package about ready to go. And then just for fun, because oh my goodness, I haven't done a tag flip in so long, I put this one together. And again, I used the papers. I wanted that mixed media kind of feel. So I used um, a lot of stitching, just... Okay, now the cats are playing. <laughs> they always have to be close to me, which is a good thing, I guess, but except when Mama's trying to do something. Pop these up, and then happy fall, y'all, with a little bit of this gold um, popped in behind it. Again, lots of pieces just randomly put together for almost like that junk journal vibe to it. Um, shades of fall with a layered um, up sunflower, some sequins tucked in here, just a handful of flowers and colors that coordinate. This one says official leaf collection. And I just inked up the edges, again, from her papers. This was in um, the kit, and I just tore it to give it that, you know, junk journal-y vibe. Made some mini ones that I just layered up onto this. And a piece that didn't that I'd snipped off from an, or a different tag, and I just used it there. Um, but you can see, I think, that the scale is different. So that's what I what I mean, you know, with the benefits um, of using a digital kit. You can reuse. You're not going to run out, and you can play with with scale. So this is my digital scrapbook kit physical paper crafting project. And this is technically, this would be called a hybrid project. It's the first one I've done in a good while. I mean, I've dabbled, I've done, you know, a card with a printed paper sort of thing, but never something in this scale. So if you are also a digital scrapbooker and you've got files full of these kits, I hope this inspires you to look at them in a different way and literally print from your stash. Um, and let's see what you make. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.